Hey guys, it's Marvie of Marvie TV, and today we're talking about thoughts he changed. For me, some of the thoughts that God changed was um, his nature and my relationship with him. Uh, I was born and raised in the church, you can say, but I also knew what it was to have a relationship with God, and I also knew what it was to step out on that relationship with God. I did that for about six years, where I pretty much was just living for myself, and my understanding of God was that he was all around us, that he created the universe, and that all things were in God, and yes, he must exist. But. Um, I didn't really want anything to do with that personal relationship with God because I felt like it was just going to be, you know, judgmental and the people of God were judgmental, so I wanted nothing to do with them. And it wasn't until later when I was really deep in my <laughs> struggle and really at a very low point in my life altogether that I could hear God in a really personal way saying, this is not what I created you for. And at that time, like I was in relationships that I shouldn't have been in. I um, was depressed. I was in a relationship with a guy who was really depressed and that was bringing me down as well, but I couldn't save him, that I couldn't fix him. And I just heard God saying, you can't fix him because that's my job. You can't fix yourself because that's my job. And me finally coming to the place of, so now what? if this is your job like what do you do and what's my responsibility in it and god just clearly said to me to love me with all of your heart your soul and your mind and your strength and you do that by being obedient so i had to put a lot of of myself aside in order to do that and he just really changed my my thoughts for him and for me when i realized that whole chapter, you know, Jeremiah 29, 11, that verse that talks about having a plan for me, you know, a plan to prosper me, and not in like the prosperity gospel, like I'm gonna give you lots of money, because trust and believe I am still broke, <laughs> but in the sense that I'm not doing things that are destructive anymore, um, because he says that his plans are not to harm me, but to give me a hope and a future, and it came to me realizing that the things that I was doing were not lending themselves to creating a, a future for me that would honor and glorify God. It was in my head beneficial to me because I was living for myself, but A, it was not giving God glory, and B, it was actually just very self-destructive. So he changed my thoughts about myself, and now I'm at a place where I can love myself because I know that God loves me and wants the best for me, and I can then in turn um, understand what it is to love him because he first loved me.